Okay guys, we're here at the Shaper. We've got our stock in that we're going to make our uh, give out of. Uh, like I said, there's not a uh, 90 degree angle on this piece. Uh, it was really, you know, casted rough, so I took an angle grinder and I knocked off, you know, most of the rough stuff that was protruding. That way I could clamp it at least somewhat, uh, you know, secure. Uh, we've got a piece of cardboard on the fixed jaw to keep, you know, from scarring up our jaws from the rough casting. And then we got a piece of plastic on the movable jaw for, uh, you know, for the exact same reason. The cutter that we're using is a piece of uh, three, I think it's, I think it's three quarter. Yeah, three quarter inch Vasco Supreme, which is a really high abrasion uh, resistant uh, tool steel and we're going to just rough this space off so we have a uh, surface to work from. I've already set the shaper up for the stroke length and we're just going to be cut at a slow pace because uh, the way that you know, we got this thing uh, clamped up it's not that secure and this shaper is so strong it'll just throw anything out of the vise if it's not you know locked down tight. You know, uh, we also, of course, rotated our vise 90 degrees. And it's always faster to cut on a shaper long, wide, long or long ways. You know, you can imagine how many strokes you'd have to take. You know, if this was uh, in, in 90 degrees, so we always want to cut usually if we can with a shaper uh, lengthwise. But uh, we're going to touch off here and uh, start cutting, and then I'll bring you back when uh, when we get the space cleaned up. Trying to touch off. Touch. We're going to take about 30 thousandths depth and about 30 thousandths per stroke. much fast about a shaper, but they're a pleasure to run. This machine, of course, will run much faster. Uh, you know, it's, it's in low range, on low, low stroke. Uh, you know, we're more worried about you know, not damaging anything than we are about you know, getting this done fast. up but I think it will uh, with this final cut. This final cut will be 30 thousandths deep and 30 thousandths per stroke just like all the others. So it's a decent finish and but you know really doesn't matter right now so here we go. Bring it into it touches. Alright we turn on our feet. I can already tell that this compound's uh, 
you know, got less play in it. It feels really good. Uh, the, the scraping really... Uh, okay, guys, I didn't want to bore everybody to death with the, uh, you know, shaper going back and forth, but uh, uh, we basically, you know, getting it cleaned up. Uh, this is about four passes at 30 thousandths uh, depth per cut and 30 thousandths step. Uh, I just want to kind of speed things up, so we're going to still go 30 thousandths per, per stroke, but uh, this is a 50 thousandths depth cut, so here we go. Bring it into it touches. We'll have to make a couple passes, I'm sure. This, this piece is really irregular. Alright, starting to touch. When you take any you know, substantial cuts at all, you need to make sure your heart's tight uh, in the uh, shaper vise because uh, it'll push it out. That's why we work the two uh, sides uh, square with each other so we can get a good purchase you know, on the part in the vise. It peels that off no problem. I mean, that's just a light snack. We could go much heavier than this, but I, don't, I just don't think it's necessary. We're not in that big a rush. pile of chips here real quick. This cast iron dust is nasty stuff. Uh, I've basically got a uh, leather uh, wrap around the whole uh, box of this uh, shaper just, in, just to keep the, uh, the dust, the cast dust off of the, uh, you know, the sliding surfaces of the shaper. They're in pretty good shape and I want to keep them that way. That cast iron dust gets in there and and it stays and just like sandpaper. You don't want your hands anywhere near uh, the cutting tool. Long brush is nice. But, uh, you know, I'll bring everybody back when I get this leveled off and. Uh, We'll start on the other, on the flip side of this part, uh, to get a good place to, to bolt to the table, and then we'll uh, remove the vise and uh, try to get a setup in order to cut the taper. Then we got it relatively square. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect, but uh, get a few uh, inclusions and a few corners that didn't clean up, but. Uh, I think it's sufficient uh, to uh, make her give out of. Let's see. Oh, yeah. About three quarters of an inch thick. Short of three inches wide. 
and 11 and a half inches long. That's uh, way more than enough material to make our gib. And it being wide like this will allow us to clamp on one side and work the other side. So I think this will work out pretty good.